What's up guys, it's Bianca of BiancaRoberts.com back again with another video. Last week I told you I was gonna start talking about lead generation. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. <laughs> If you are a returning visitor, welcome back. And if you are new, welcome. I'm Bianca and I'm a real estate agent. I've been licensed in Texas for the last 17 years. October 28th, 2004 is my anniversary of entering real estate, as a matter of fact. Last week, I said on my channel that I was gonna start talking about lead generation. I'm an apartment locator in the Houston area. So I consider myself to be a marketer first and a real estate agent second. Child, it's about to be story time before I get into how I basically generate 100 leads plus a month. So in September of 2020, I was working for a builder. At the time of this recording, it's October of 2021. So basically like 13 months ago. And when I say I was working for a builder, I mean that I was the person that when you walk into a show home, you see the person sitting there smiling, that would have been me. I was a sales rep to basically help people buy new construction homes. That's the only thing I did. And I did that for approximately three years. Well, in September of 2020, I quit. Because prior to that, you may know this, but um, basically, March of 2020, the whole world shut down because of the pandemic. I had sales that were under contract that were supposed to close. And then one by one, those sales basically dried up. They disappeared. People were losing their jobs and I had no more income. And when I say I had no more income, I mean this place that I worked for was commission only. So if I didn't close a sale or I didn't make a sale, then I didn't get paid. So around February, I wasn't really all that nervous because as a matter of fact, January of 2020, I was considered salesperson of the month. I made five sales in um, January. February rolls around. Everything seems to be okay. I'm just gonna wait for these particular homes to close. Next thing you know, the whole world shuts down. And one by one, my sales started to cancel. Then I wasn't, I was a little nervous, but I was kind of like, okay, you know, what's gonna happen? Um, I was actually pretty excited that people weren't coming into my sales office anymore because I didn't wanna get sick. I didn't wanna get my family sick. I didn't know anything about this whole thing. So basically, January, I'm being celebrated as salesperson of the month because I closed or I sold five homes that month. By June, I was panicking because I didn't have any more income. I said, all right, I'll go to another location. But this particular location wasn't ready yet. It wasn't ready to take sales. So that means that if somebody came into the trailer that I was sitting in while the place was being built, if they walked into the trailer and they were ready to purchase a home, I could write a contract for them, but it was gonna be another four to six months before they would be able to move into that home. So what happened was by July-ish, I decided that I was gonna file for unemployment. I actually used to work for the unemployment office and I remember that if you filed because you had reduced hours or you had reduced income, even if you were still employed, that you could get unemployment benefits. And so I thought, well, heck, I'll just apply for unemployment, explain to them that all my sales dried up because of COVID and I will get supplemental income until the market turns around. Well, my unemployment claim was denied. They basically treated it like, we don't care that your sales fell out because of COVID. Reasoning was they're saying, well, you are a commission only worker. You knew that going in. And just because your sales dried up and went away because of COVID doesn't mean we're gonna pay you unemployment benefits. I also filed an appeal and my appeal was denied and they denied it saying that I was employed. 
So it was this really weird in between position that I was in because yes, I was employed. Like I was on their payroll, so to speak, but I'm a commission only worker. I was making zero dollars. So by September, I said, honey, I'm done with this. I cannot go another six months with no income. So I resigned from the company. I said, thank you very much. I didn't even know what my next plan B or whatever was going to be. So I signed up with a temporary agency and I became a wellness monitor. If I have time, I'm gonna find a picture of my wellness monitor badge and insert it into this video. Yes, a wellness monitor. Because I couldn't sit around and just not have any income. I was like, I need to pay my bills. I didn't wanna to go to my family and be like, hey, can you pay my car note? Can you pay my rent? I was not in a position where I could just sit around for six, seven, eight, nine months with no income and just twiddle my thumbs. I was at the front door taking temperatures of people who wanted to enter the building and basically turning them away or sending them to the nurse if they had a high temperature. Really, this is a true story. I did that from October of 2020 till June of 2021. Basically, when school let out, I didn't have a job anymore. So June of 2021, my assignment is over and I'm unemployed. And before my assignment was over, I had already started making plans to reactivate my real estate license. So my license was inactive while I had worked for the builder and I decided, okay, I'm gonna just go back to real estate. But I was dragging my heels because I've sold millions of dollars in real estate already. And all I kept playing in my mind was the grind of real estate. And I have been chasing the work from home life for a really long time. And my vision for myself and what I wanted to do was not driving around meeting buyers. It was not going to listing appointments. And what I mean by that is, getting in the car, driving around, going from house to house with the buyer, writing the contract, trying to keep the whole thing together, making sure they get approved, making sure they don't apply for anything else. And I just kept thinking to myself, I do not want to do that again. But one of the things about real estate over the years, it has always bailed me out in some type of way, meaning that 17 years ago when I got my real estate license, I have used it in various ways to do various things just because I had a license. There have been people that have hired me because I've had a real estate license. I went back to having a nine to five or a regular job several times over the last 17 years. And I did some of the, the things that people tell you to do to generate leads. When you originally get into real estate, they tell you, talk to your sphere of influence. Tell everyone you know that you're a real estate agent. There are a lot of people that will educate you on things that they did to get their real estate business off the ground. But this was in the early days of uh, internet. This was in the early days where there was no uh, social media. So I had been sitting around with this license for quite a while. And I said to myself, if I go back to real estate, I'm going to use my internet marketing brain because I've been studying internet marketing since about 2014 to take my business from zero to a hundred and like as quick as possible. I just think back on it and I'm super happy, super blessed by this opportunity that landed in my lap. I'm gonna share with you some of my uh, screens, but I wanted to tell you that story because from June of 2021, now to October of 2021, I've basically exploded my business using internet marketing tactics. I consider myself to be an internet marketer first and a real estate agent second. All I did was take what I know about internet marketing and I applied it to the apartment locating niche. 
Next, I'm gonna show you some screens so you can see exactly what I mean about what I do and how I generate leads for my real estate business. So tip number one for generating leads is learn internet marketing. If you don't know how to generate leads and get sales, then you don't have a business. All businesses need leads and sales. The internet has billions of people on it. There is no reason why, in my opinion, you should be on the struggle bus for generating leads. You either are not being specific enough with your message to who you're trying to attract, or you don't know anything about internet marketing. After you learn internet marketing, then my recommendation for a new real estate agent is figure out how you can make the right now money. Obviously, I'm an apartment locator. I highly recommend apartment locating because many real estate agents have jobs and other things that they need to do. And so it's more difficult to make right now money if you don't have the time to go out and showing buyers and going on listing appointments because you got a full-time job. Apartment locating is such that you're working from home. So you can tailor your schedule the way you'd like to. And getting that right now money will help fund the other things that you would probably like to do. My next tip would be pick a niche and be specific when you're online. And when I say pick a niche and be specific, even if you decided that you didn't want to be an apartment locator and you only wanted to work with buyers and sellers, there are many ways that you can show the internet who you are. If, for example, I wanted to work with buyers and I was like, let's say I was a teacher in my former life, I could say, I help teachers buy homes. That is really, really specific. I don't see anybody on the internet who's a real estate agent being that specific. You could say, I help first time investors. The more specific you are, the easier it is for your ideal client to find you. Many, many people go through all of these hoops. They buy all of these pieces of software. They purchase ads. They do this, all of these convoluted things. And I disagree with the idea that you need to do those things. So first, I wanted to start off with showing you my inbox. Just so you know, I am not promoting anything that I don't actually use for my particular business. My Lead System Pro does not give you leads. They teach you how to generate leads or attract leads to you using internet marketing. So they're a system and a software uh, platform. And I shared my Lead System Pro a couple of times here on my channel. And since that time, they've really updated their system and made things even easier than when I was showing you before. So it's not gonna be as long as and detailed as that previous video, but I just wanted you to know that I am not like making this stuff up. I'm not just promoting my Lead System Pro because it has an affiliate component to it. What that means is yes, I will get paid commission if you decided to sign up with my link. But I truly believe in this system and I truly use it. So I had two leads come in this morning at 623. That's what that little two is. I'm not sure if this is a My Lead System Pro thing or if it's a Gmail thing. That So for example, since I got two leads this morning, instead of me getting two separate notifications, I just got this little thing. So as you can see, there's two this day, five this day, three, etc. And you can see these are the dates, the 23rd, 22nd, like it goes on and on and on. Again, My Lead System Pro doesn't give you leads. They teach you how to generate leads. So all I did was use what they teach along with my other skills that I have and applied it to the apartment locating niche. A lot of real estate agents do not know how to generate their own leads 
and they do not know how to do internet marketing. So when I saw this system, I immediately said, I know there's a bunch of people that I could probably help and I can teach you how to build your own business. Whether you want to be an apartment locator or not, I truly believe that apartment locating is like the very first thing that could really set you up nicely in real estate instead of trying to be a builder uh, i'm sorry instead of trying to be a buyer or a seller's agent that's my own uh, philosophy if you want to join my uh, facebook group the link will be listed below in my link tree so you can see some of the concepts and things that i teach in my group so when you go to my home page my lead system pro does not give websites but they do teach you how to create capture pages. I just so happen to be kind of old school. Like I said, I've been around for a while and studying internet marketing for a long time. I know a lot of people are getting away from having full websites with blogs and whatnot, but I still want that for myself. One of my bonus tips in this lead generation um, a video is if you are a real estate agent, and even if you're not a real estate agent, you should have your own standalone website that is separate from whatever companies you're necessarily affiliated with. Meaning if I was a Coldwell Banker agent, I would not plaster Coldwell Banker all over the internet and tell people I'm a Coldwell Banker agent. I'm Bianca, I'm BiancaRoberts.com, and anything that I offer or any person or company that I'm affiliated with is the secondary pieces of my business. So anywho, I have my own WordPress site. So this right here is connected to my Lead System Pro, meaning I took their system, pasted in a link that is used, and I'll show you that in a moment, in order to get leads. So I exploded my business on TikTok. And what I noticed was when people are booking calls with me, there are people who want to talk to me and they want to know about Texas. They want to know about apartments, etc. And there are six, nine, some of them even a year out. But because apartment locating for the most part is a very quick turnaround type of business, meaning that most of the people that I speak with need to move within 90 days or less. The life cycle of working with them is about an hour to a couple of days. One of the things that I noticed was that I was getting a lot of appointments from people who are six months, even a year out because they just wanted to talk to me and you know have a connection with me based upon the activities that I do on social media. Specifically, TikTok is uh, one of the platforms that I use to really explode my business. So anywho, I basically said, okay, these people are contacting me and they're really far out and they just want general information about Texas and whatnot. So I used the My Lead System Pro system to, I'm saying system a lot, ain't I? Um, so I used it to create a capture page. So this thing right here is just a little, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, just a little picture that I took from Canva. I plugged it onto my website and I used the My Lead System Pro um, software to direct people to this free checklist and i'm going to show you what i mean by that so if you click on this this is the my lead system pro capture page if you're not an internet marketer and you just want something to be on your website really quickly without having to spend a couple of weeks learning coding and doing all that what my lead system pro decided to do was create generic capture pages for people so that you would be able just to have something up and running really quickly without spending a heck of a lot of time doing it. So because I recognize that there are a lot of people who aren't going to be moving necessarily immediately, 
I said, you know what? I'm going to put this capture page on my website to offer people some information about Texas so that they can have that. They can enter in their email address and contact information, and then I can stay in contact with them pretty regularly until they're ready to move. 20 minutes after I set this capture page up, someone had already entered in their email address, and it is actively collecting leads for me on my website right now. Again, all I did was fill in the blanks on uh, my Lead System Pro software and created this capture page in about 20 minutes. So let's go to My Lead System Pro and let me show you what I mean. So if you go into Custom Lead Gen Campaigns, I think a lot of the members of My Lead System Pro have multiple things that they promote. Again, I'm an apartment locator. Most of what My Lead System Pro teaches is internet marketing for people who are in MLM. I don't have an MLM. But I decided that their system just makes sense because it's only $49 a month that I'm spending and I'm using this system to run my business. So let's say, for example, I'm going to show you the page that I created here that's in the back office. You can see I just clicked on that. If I wanted to change it, I would click on this pin. And all I had to do just to create the thing to begin with is go into this thing called customizations. It already has a link that it populated for me. And I wrote this in here, took an image of myself. Like for example, if I wanted to share it on social media, this image would come up. But if you go directly to my site, I basically chose the dark theme. I put in the information, what can I expect when moving to uh, the state, download my free guide, put this little image in, and hit save. So let me tinker with it just a little bit, just to show you I'm like how, it's just, it just blows my mind how they just set this up for people who don't want to spend forever doing these things. So I just changed it from dark to light. So if somebody was gonna go to the website right now, this is what it would look like because I changed it to light. And actually, I kind of like that. <laughs> See, playing around on this thing with y'all, I kind of like how it's light. But anywho, that's, that's it. I just took this capture page, plugged it in, and there is a thank you page. You just, I put your guide is on the way. I have a little video in there that says thank you for downloading it. If you look at my thank you page, it says your guide is on the way to your inbox. It has my little cheesy face up there and it says thank you. This is in a nutshell what I use my Lead System Pro for, but it's not just a piece of software. They actually have training Monday through Friday where they download into you information and help you build an internet business. One of the other things that I think is so freaking amazing is when you um, set up a capture page, for example. This one is pretty kind of straightforward. I didn't ask for any type of feedback or request from them to tell me how I could make it better because I just know that all I'm trying to do is just collect leads for later for people who aren't ready to go right now. But I had a more detailed uh, lead capture page that I created for people who are interested in the, um, what do you call it? People who are interested in apartment locating. I kind of changed some words around and did some things to it. So again, this is on the front page of my website because I'm truly passionate about apartment locating. And if anyone that I come across wants to join my Facebook group and they want more information, I just thought it would be kind of cool to have a capture page on my website. Again, I designed this through My Lead System Pro. 
And when I started creating the capture page, they critiqued it for me. They told me some things that I could say better. They helped me with some words. And this is like, I, I say this all the time. It's like the training wheels for internet marketing. Most real estate agents don't have any of this stuff set up. And because I have I've been a member of this community, but I really started learning internet marketing back in 2014, as soon as I became a member of MLSP, I was like, okay, I was duct taping all of these things together and trying to do it on my own. It's so amazing that I have this piece of software where I can just think of an idea one day and change it. The reason why I say think of an idea is because a lot of marketing has to do with testing out your ideas. And basically, if you don't know where your business is coming from, you don't know um, what uh, your clients would like to get from you or your potential customers, you're going to do a, a lot of testing. Like, like I said, in the beginning, the only thing that I had on my website in terms of apartment locating clients was the ability to book a call. This goes straight to my calendar. They can set up a 15 minute appointment with me and that system was working really well. But more and more I started talking to people who were so far out, I was like, well, let me just get something from them or give something to them that would allow me to be in constant contact with them. So as a real estate agent, if you're not an apartment locator, you could create a guide like this that would basically be a move to wherever you are, you know, whatever that guide is that you would want to create. Or it could be something like five things to do before you list your home. You can create these type of things and not necessarily have to have your own standalone website like I do. Meaning that you could have on your social media a link that would take people directly to this. You don't have to necessarily be as detailed as I am. But again, internet marketing is my passion. And I think that I am an internet marketer first and a real estate agent second. Because it's always been my dream to help other people with their marketing, teach them how to get leads for themselves, and eventually start selling my own courses. I do not have anything right now that I do other than apartment locating and affiliate marketing with the various uh, companies that I've partnered with as an affiliate. One of those being my Lead System Pro. But really quickly, I wanted to tell you that I used one of the generic campaigns that my Lead System Pro created. I'm going to show you that. Let's see here. Because I wanted to test out. I work with people that have issues like former broken leases, etc. That's part of my marketing message. And one of the things that I decided to do was to choose one of these generic campaigns that My Lead System Pro created for all types of different industries. I picked the credit repair one because I basically wanted to test out how many folks from my audience would be interested in this generic campaign. I didn't have to do any of the writing for it. It's just a campaign that you can give to people if they're interested in learning about boosting their credit repair. So if I had a credit repair service, then this would be the perfect giveaway to put on my website. So I just tested it out just to, you know, that's what I do. I like to just see. And I got 14 people that opted in for this particular lead magnet. I quickly took it down from my website because I was like, I'm not going to be emailing these people and reaching out to them because I don't even have a credit repair product. So I'm just sharing this with you so that you know, number one, I am not a sorcerer. Uh, I had my broker contact me. He was like, what did you do? How are you getting all of these leads? He said, you've got the marketing piece down. 
He said, most agents struggle with that. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, I know because most agents aren't internet marketers. They don't know anything about internet marketing. All they do is they jump online and they say, I'm a real estate agent. That's not good enough for the internet. The beauty of the internet is how big it is, but it's also the negative of the internet is how big it is. Because there's so many people out there fighting for customers' uh, attention. Everybody has something to sell now. Everybody is like, pick me, pick me, pick me. And if you know internet marketing and you know who it is that you're speaking to or who it is you'd like to attract to you, you attract that audience to you and you give them what they want. If they need leads, you show them how to attract leads. If they need to fix their credit, you show them how to fix their credit. You have to put on different hats based upon the audience that you are trying to attract to you. So without making this video any uh, more lengthy, Again, I just wanted to show you the MLSP system and how you can use it as a real estate agent to attract your leads. If you're interested in joining my Facebook group, I have the link below in my link tree. If you have any questions, leave them below this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like this type of content and I will see you next time.